Hi there and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited because I just got something in the mail and I thought I had to sit down and film it right away. So I just got the new collection from Hindash, which I am so, so pumped for. Cannot wait to dive in. I actually had my eye on one of his gradient palettes for a while, but then when I saw that he was coming out with the Monochromance palette that looked perfect for spring, perfect for like Easter. I knew I had to get my hands on it and test it out for you guys. So I have it here today, as well as the Boy Tears kind of color fluid shimmer, eye topper, highlighter. I mean, honestly, it looks like a very versatile product. And then I also have his new lipstick in the shade Call Me Peaches. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you these products. So this is the lovely packaging, very basic black unicarton packaging, and I'm pretty excited to dive in. So let's get into it. This is the Monochromance palette. One thing I do want to say is that to get it shipped to me, I did have to pay $50 in import fees. That's typical when I purchase from a brand that they don't really have like a warehouse in Canada. So you do pay typically import fees and that's about the range. I think for most brands, the least I've paid is 23, the most I've paid is 70. So this was 50, not the highest, not the lowest. So keep that in mind if you are ordering off their website. I do want to make sure you are informed of that. I think my whole order, it ended up being about $210 total. So I think I paid $160 for these three products, Canadian, and then the $50 import fee, which I do include because that is money I paid to get these products. All right, enough with like the down talk. Let's just get into it. This is the Monochromance. This is the Monochromance palette. It's his second palette that he released. He also came out with an eyeliner, two lipsticks, and then his color fluid, which is like a shimmer highlighter in just one shade called Boy Tears. So he has expanded his line. I have most of my face ready to go. If I could just open up this palette for you, you could see what I am planning to do for this video. This is the palette, very slim, very chic. And then when you open it up, this is the gorgeous, exquisite palette. Like, check out these colors. If It is an all matte palette. And then you can use the color fluid to go on top. So let's go through the color fluid and I'll show you the Call Me Peaches lipsticks and you can see all the products. What I'm going to do is also use this as a face palette and I'm going to apply some contour, bronzer, and then some blush using these colors because I can, and you know I love to do one face kind of palette situations where I can use whatever's in a palette on other parts of my face, as well as the eyes, because I think that is when you're gonna get the best bang for your buck, especially with a palette like this that is on the pricey side. I'm not gonna lie, this is, I think definitely with the import fees, more of like a Natasha Denona priced palette because if you were to include that I think this retails for like 70 US so it's pretty much about a hundred dollars for this which is kind of kind of crazy I know that this is something I am probably going to use all the time and it's, it's gonna be a staple I'm sure in my collection because I can just see so many different things I could do with this and how I could play it up and it excites me and when a palette excites me I just want to dive into it and get the colors on my lid. So expect to see this quite a bit because I do want to get my money's worth and I want to share it with you. Now this is the Hindash Color Fluid and the shade Boy Tears is what he's come out with. So this is what it looks like and it's this, I feel like a very neutral kind of champagne color. And then when you open up the doe foot applicator. It's kind of like a Stila type of magnificent glitter eye. I've noticed that it doesn't actually pick up as much. I've opened this and swatched it. So it feels like it's a little bit of a thicker formula, not as wet maybe as other ones. It does have some glitter particles in it. So 
We will find a use for this in today's look. This is the lipstick bullet, which I feel like is a little bit masculine. It reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Balm, which is this right here. You can see the similar kind of line going down the column lipstick bullet, and you have that here. But I'll be honest, when I open it up, the quality feels a lot more cheap cheaply made as opposed to the one from Charlotte Tilbury where this feels very weighted in my hand and this bullet doesn't feel as as luxurious and I think the price point's probably similar. This is the shade Peaches. It is a matte lipstick and I have no clue what the finish will be if it'll be sheer, how pigmented it's going to be, but I had to get a peach lipstick because I feel like when I think of spring I think of a nice peach cheek, very pastel colors on the lid, and a nice kind of nude lip. And so I'm pretty excited for this. I don't actually have much peach in my collection in terms of like lipsticks, but that's the product. So let's just dive in now that we've gone through them. The Monochromance, which I kind of feel like is a rip a little bit off of what like Patrick Ta names his. He has like the monochrome moment blush line and lipstick so I kind of feel like monochromance maybe got the idea from Patrick Ta. We're gonna go into this fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm gonna pick up heavy. Doesn't look like it's picking too too much so it seems like it's a pretty hard pressed palette. You can see there's really no fallout when I'm going in and I'm not being too, too delicate here. There's the pigment. Tap off a little bit of powder kicks back, but not a crazy amount. Let's try that again. No, definitely not like an Anastasia Beverly Hills powder or the Morphe palette. Obviously this is a higher price point. I'm going to keep this just up here. We're gonna try and do a bit of a gradient look. I'm gonna try and Push myself out of my comfort zone and we'll see what we come up with. Something a little different than what I normally do. Okay, so I've just built up that intensity. It's applying very nicely. I'm not seeing any fallout underneath my eyes, which is really nice for a palette because when you do your face makeup first and then you go in and do your eyes and you're playing with bright colors, you really don't want them to fall down below. I'm gonna go into Anti. I'm not really gonna blend the two together. This is a Katie Jane Hughes and Spectrum number 13 brush. I'm gonna go into wherever. Back into Auntie. And then going with the same brush that I used for the pink, I'm gonna go into Heart. And focus it right here. Let's swatch the boy tears. I think I'm just gonna use this as a highlighter. I was trying to see if I could get it on the lid. Just tap it out to see what it does. The reason I'm doing this right now and taking a break from the eyes is because I wanna find a way to continue with the eyes and make it wearable, but I'm a little bit stumped and I wanna see if I can maybe put this on top. I'm first gonna go into Inked. Got a very important phone call to make. really gonna rainbow out this look. Let's go into the purple and I'm actually gonna use a pencil brush and go into Dote. We're gonna go into Petal. And I'm really trying not to overlap them so it doesn't look muddy. Then I'm gonna go into Throb. Take 
taking a finer brush, I'm gonna go into this little center in between the two. Then into this shade, right in the middle. And the same with the blue. Definitely looks a little bit crazy, but just give me a minute. We're gonna take the Hindash Boy Tears. Gonna put it on the back of my hand. Just gonna take a flat brush, pick it up. And I'm lightly placing it on top. And it's very interesting how it looks very warm on my hand. But then when I mix it with these tones, which are predominantly cool tones, it shifts to more silver. We're going to dive into some bronzing. Because my face is looking crazy. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is made. Kind of just run it in between. Always go on the back of your hand when you're going in with eyeshadows. Definitely working as a bronzer. Keep in mind you do need to use a smaller brush to get in there. I'm going just bouncing over and not going too far below. I've got a very important phone call to make. Now for blush. We're gonna bounce in the center here and here. Just kind of crisscross a little bit back and forth. Felt so it was a bit intense, so I'm just going over with a sponge that I used to apply my foundation and also my concealer. Now I think we need to add some liner, add some mascara, and then I think this look will be complete and we can go add the lip. So I will be right back for that. Okay, so I'm back. Obviously the look is coming together. You can see I have lashes on. I did a little liner. For lashes, I have the Velour Effortless Lash in the Short and Sweet style. I've been really into the velour lashes and wearing false lashes because I think with some looks they just kind of bring it together and elevate it. I made the cheek a little bit more peachy and neutral so I focused a little bit more on these lower shades here. Just going in with a brush and just picking up more of the darker tone. Kind of keep it very even and peachy because I think that actually matches all the colors better. And then for liner, I'm just using my Hyper Easy Liquid Liner from Maybelline. This is by far my favorite liner and it's great for small eyes. And now we are ready to add the lip and call it a day. So this is the Call Me Peaches. We're gonna see what it looks like on the lips. I don't know if this color fully matches it, but we'll go with it. I do like the color. I think it is definitely a very unique peach tone. This is, it's very different from what I normally do. But I hope you guys love it. I've been trying to mix it up. I love to do neutral makeup, very basic kind of classic elevated looks, but then I also like to Add a bit of color and play with it because I think it can get boring if you just do all neutrals and I think it's really a good way to challenge myself and try to come up with something a little more creative. So I wanted to do a little bit of a rainbow ombre effect because I really wanted to test out the colorful pigments in here. I'm going to give you my final thoughts now. I love the look I created using this. I don't think the colors are as pigmented as you might think you can really build up quite nicely but they don't come off very powdery or chalky. I found it very easy to use with a brush. The pigment is staying in place 
and I definitely see myself reaching for this. I love that it's matte. I love that they're bright colors and I think they're really well done. So I think this was a great palette. I am excited for more palettes down the road. I would definitely recommend the Monochromance palette for you if you were able to pick this up. Now, the Boy Tears is definitely something a little bit different. It's also very interesting that it looks very gold in here, but then on my eyes with the cool tones, it turned a bit more silver, but then on my cheek, it has turned a little bit more like pinky, which is so weird that it has um, an adaptable shift. I guess that's what I'm going to call it, where it can seem to adapt to the color that's underneath. So it's got a little bit of a translucentness to it, even though the color in here is definitely giving off like gold champagne vibes. I also saw something where he took a bit and he was putting it on the lid, putting it on the cheeks, and then he also did something on the lips. So Quickly gonna talk about the lipstick. The bullet isn't exactly my favorite. It's it's a basic bulk, but for what you pay, it feels a little bit cheap. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of was expecting something a little bit more luxe, maybe a magnetic top, just like what the Mario one has, cause like the Mario one is very basic, but it has this luxurious magnetic top that makes it feel a lot more high quality than what the price is. Whereas I'm pretty sure I paid more for this than the Mario lipstick and it just feels a little bit more cheap. The color though is gorgeous. I love this peach tone. I think it looks really good with my skin. I am definitely going to be wearing this a lot. However, the formula reminds me a lot of the Milani formula. The Milani one feels just as good. It's just as matte, but it's also very like moisturizing, not too balmy, but enough that it doesn't feel like there's a thick layer of lipstick on your lips. So I have the Milani matte lipstick in 420 Tees. Uh, this might be a little bit deeper, but I feel like they have one called Pleasure and it looks quite similar. I'm gonna have to go to the drugstore and check it out because they don't have it. But I will just swatch, this is 420 Tees. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit deeper, but the feeling is very similar. Definitely not the same, but I will go look and see if they have this color right here for you at the drugstore and potentially we will have a dupe. Now before we do anything else, I will do the last thing which is take some of this and give you a nice very shimmery kind of look. Which actually I'll just show you. This is the lipstick and the boy tears mixed together and you can see that it's a lot lighter of a tone with a like metallic reflect. I do have to say this is very much unlike anything I've tried. Even though there's glitter in it, they're not really heavy particles, but it also seems to adapt so nicely with whatever base you have underneath, whether you have it on top of an eyeshadow, on top of your foundation and your blush. If you put it on top of a lipstick, it seems so versatile. I have to say this is like the most unique product I've tried in a while. It's just very subtle, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I just put a layer of glitter on my lip. It feels very like hydrating, kind of wet and balmy, but then it also seems to dry down in place. So this is definitely something that I'm very fascinated about. I cannot wait to try it out in different ways and see how I can zhuzh up a look. And I think the reason he came out with this was so that you could have something to play up these matte tones and then make them a bit more metallic on top. Instead of having mattes and metallics, the way you can make a metallic of one of these shades is to use boy tears. Pretty excited to play with these things more. I definitely love them and I'm very happy with my purchases. So congratulations again, Hindash. I am very happy to have discovered these products and your brand and I look forward to whatever things you come out with down the road. I doubt Hindash is actually gonna watch this video. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you loved this video and this colorful unicorn type of vibe. I guess let's just call it like spring cotton candy because unicorn just sounds a little childish and I'm trying to make this a little bit more 
grown up. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today as always and if you want to see more of these videos, if you want me to play with color, then please ring the bell, subscribe, and like this video. I'll see you on my next one.